Thanks for staying with us on STL TV Live. Kim Schlau is my first guest, and she's the mother of Jessica and Kelly Yule, two girls who were killed in a tragic car crash when an Illinois state trooper attempted to speed and text at the same time. Since losing her daughters, Kim has become an advocate for driver safety and responsibility. Welcome, Kim. Thank so you for glad you could me. join us. I know your message is important for everyone to hear, but take us back to 2007, and, and let's talk about what happened to the girls. They were coming home from their dad's house after having family photos taken the Friday after Thanksgiving. And as they were coming back, an Illinois state trooper was responding to a call. He was driving 126 miles an hour. He was on his cell phone. He was also using his onboard computer and he uh, was disregarded from the call. He had actually been told that the call he was responding to was not um, an emergency, but he didn't hear that because he was on his phone. He lost control of his car, crossed the median, um, and crashed into Jessica's car. He, when he crossed the median, he hit a culvert pipe, sending him airborne, and he literally drove off the top of Jessica's car, killing her and her sister that Friday. Mm. It must have just been, I can't even imagine, can't even imagine being a mother myself, what that must have been like for you. And the driver of the police officer, what happened to him? He received 30 months of probation and a suspended driver's license, and um, he had to resign as a police officer. He pled guilty to four felony counts. Mm -hmm. So this was seven years ago, mm -hmm. and the way he ha was responding, the, the speeding, the using the computer, all that, is that common, have you found, in the police officer world from your experience? Unfortunately, what police officers are required to do um, sometimes does take their focus off of their driving, but I found that by speaking to police officers and meeting police officers, that more and more departments are realizing that it's, um, it's not safe, and they are um, making policies and changing, um, changing their policies for pursuits and responses so that the police officers are not um, supposed to be using their onboard computers or their cell phones uh, while they're in those high-speed uh, situations. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but unfortunately, it's, it's a problem for all drivers, not just police officers, but for all drivers. Um, distractions are huge, right. and it's an epidemic. And we talk to our, our teens, uh, our teen drivers, about this message, about texting right. and driving and, and the distractions when they're learning to drive. And yet adults are just as likely, if not more likely, to be modeling this type of um, bad behavior. They are, and it's um, it's very sad that adults are the ones, you know, because the kids are learning in driver's ed and, and they're seeing these crashes and things, but adults, I guess, think, well, I have the experience, so therefore I can do it, and really no one is safe by doing it. Um, so what I concentrate on now, though, is speaking to police officers and um, letting them know that, you know, I'm not anti-police. I don't... Um, I don't tell them how to drive or how to do their jobs, but I give them the story of what happened with Justin Kelly and the, the decisions that were made behind the wheel, the wrong decisions that were made, mm -hmm. um, and tell them, you know, this is what happens when bad decisions are made, and hope that they will then think when they're in those situations to make better decisions. And how do the police officers that you speak to, how do they respond to, to your message? They are, um, you know, they're, they're overwhelmed by the story, first of all, that I'm the mom getting up there and telling, you know, them about this. And then they also, um, they're very receptive of the story. A lot of them, you know, have told me that um, they have done silly things behind the wheel and they've gotten away with it and that they're going to change. Um, I did a presentation in San Diego and an officer from California saw that presentation and went back and made some big changes in their training and they have been for 15 months they have been at fault crash free and he directly attributes that to the story of my daughters and to some training tenants that I also work with as well um, which is huge mm -hmm. that I've made such a big impact on that so I'm glad to see that you know I always hope that I'm making an impact but I'm glad to see that someone has you know said it's a direct result. Yeah, absolutely. There's no, no question that you can't make an impact. We're going to take a quick break, Kim, but when we come back, we're going to talk more about how you found the energy and motivation to go out and, and share this message with, uh, with everyone. Great. So Thank stay you. with us here at STL TV Live. We'll be right back with Kim Schlau after this break.